Hello, my name is Dawn, and today I will be teaching you how to fold an origami squirrel. First, you'll want to start with a square piece of paper, that's different on either side, 8 by 8 inch piece of paper, but we're using this, and that's fine. So, today we are going to fold it in half. I need scissors. Great. In the unfortunate event that you cannot find scissors, just fold it. You want to fold it in half. Okay, now that you have your half piece of paper, you need to fold it into the middle, like so. Now, you unfold that, and you fold your two edges into the crease that you just made. After you do that, you should have something resembling this. Now, what you want to do is you want to fold the bottom corners up to the crease. You want to make sure that they're even. Now that you have, you want to fold that up the whole triangle and now unfold it. Now what you want to do, this part's a little bit complicated so I'm going to do it and then walk you through it. You want to fold your paper. Okay, so now that you have your square on this side of your squirrel, you want to make those two little corners on your other side and now what you want to do is fold the square back onto the correct side and fold the entire thing in half. Now, what we want to do is push this until it matches up vertically. Now we have made the beginning of the squirrel's head. And now we move on to making the squirrel's body. You should have this little sausage looking creature. For this step, it's a little bit tricky. What you want to do is you want to take this and you want to fold it down and then back up around the back so that it comes up straight. Make sure to crease it so it should make a little triangle. I'm gonna kill myself. Now that your fifth attempt at folding the squirrel has become slightly right, you want to unfold the last two parts of the body and you want to fold the unfolded part down so that it matches the straight crease. Okay, now we want to fold that part back up along your crease and now we want to unfold again. And there's step two apparently. Okay, now we move on to step three, making the squirrel's tail. Now, what you want to do is unfold this, the bottom part, and you want to crease it inwards. So it looks like this. You want to open this up and fold this up at your crease so that it looks like this. Beautiful. Oh, what? Now we need to unfold his tail. Alright, so what you need to do is invert your tail. So, what you want to do is invert the tail of the squirrel, and that's it. That's all of step three. Now we move on to step four, which is a rather small step. Making the squirrel's feet. What you want to do is take the bottom corner of these feet and just fold them up, however far up you want. You want to do that with both sides. And then what you want to do is take that upper corner and just fold it back down. You do that with both sides. If you unfold those slightly, your squirrel has feet. Now we move on to step five, making the squirrel's ears, nose, and neck. This is the most difficult step as it requires a lot of attempting. So what you want to do first is take the ear of the squirrel and fold it down so that it faces down. Now we fold up the top corner and it should be the same angle. Now we do that, we repeat that for the other ear. And what would you know it? Now your squirrely has two lovely little ears. Now what we want to do is move on to making the nose. We simply fold over the corner of the face, we fold it back, and we just push it into his face. Now the squirrel has a nose, or what I like to call an empty void or his sniffer should be. Okay, now that that's done, we can move on to making the squirrel's back. Now, what you want to do is unfold the back of the squirrel's head 
so that it's slightly open and you want to fold your corners in. You want to make sure not to fold the ears however because this will present a problem for you. So that, repeat this on both sides that you have two symmetrical sides of the face, like so. Okay, now that you have your creases, it should look like this. It should have a straight edge connecting the head to the body. And that's all for step five. Now we move on to step six, making the squirrel's arms. So what you wanna begin with is folding the squirrel's neck along this neck that you just made. Don't worry, we will move it back, probably. We wanna fold it back again so that it's ears, face, the tip of its tail. Now we open the body of the squirrel and we do literally the most difficult part of it. You wanna make a crease like that in the body of the squirrel. Now we want to crease these points that the squirrel has where his arms are inward. Like so. That way he doesn't have any pointy bits. Nobody wants pointy bits in their squirrel. And there's your squirrel arms. And now we move on to the seventh and final step, finishing up. The last thing you want to do with your squirrel in this step is open the squirrel's ears. So what you want to do is you want to press down on them and just like that, boom! Your squirrel's ears are open. And now he is done and he can be a good little squirrel with his squirrely friends. Thank you for watching. I am Dawn, and I just taught you how to fold an origami squirrel.